Have you ever needed to quickly remove the background of an image, but you don't want to pay for tools like Photoshop? Well, today I'm going to be coding a website that does that automatically, but stick around till the end to see how exactly I'm going to be doing that. And you may be wondering, there's so many different websites that already do this, so why are you even bothering creating your own one? Well, yes, but actually no. You see, these websites, while they do remove the background for free most of the times, they either require you to create an account, which is pretty dumb, or you have a limited number of credits. Now that we have our motivation, let's talk about the project structure. So for this project, we have three main components to develop. First is our actual background remover, which will handle all the logic of removing the background from the image. Next is our Python backend, which will establish API endpoints so that we can send image data to the background remover. And finally, we have our front end, which will allow us to upload custom images to the backend. Alright, so for this project, I think I'm gonna be using basically this library that I found online. It's basically called Background Remover. Yeah, it looks solid. I think there's also a demo here that basically shows how it works. Even though this website exists, I think I definitely still want to try to give a shot at creating uh, my own website just to see how it all works and to learn Flask as well, which I'll mention later. So as you can see here, like after installing some of the dependencies, we actually get the output right here. So that's good to know that the library actually works. Now I have to kind of figure out how to, you know, make a backend service that will allow you to put your image and then that'll be the output. I do know that I want to definitely use Flask, which is right here to create my API endpoints or my backend essentially, but I have no idea how to actually make this. I have to learn essentially how to use it, but that's fine. I think it should be fair simple because there's a lot of different examples here but yeah but it's good to see that this works now so now let's move on to coding the back end Localhost 5000. There you go. Damn. So that's my first time actually writing a Python website. That's crazy. All right. So now I just need to know how to create my own API using Python. When I'm staying at the bring a child because she popping on the red. All right. So I think I'm concerned with the file uploads, I think, here. Need receipts for the tax. Need more blocks. Need more stacks. So now if we go to slash upload, it's good to know that this basically runs and then we get our output right here. So that's good. The main thing that I was testing here is basically to see that if we're able to call this sub process when we visit here. Next, I just need to basically, I think I need to code the front end bit just to be able to test out this thing. Basically, the idea here is that uh, we define a single round. Now I just need to figure out how we send back the image because right now it's just returning a paragraph as you can see. Motherfucker, we made it. Now we go to upload, we can see that it is buffering and then we can see here on the terminal uh, that the sub process is running and we can see that we have our output. So if we just refresh, wait for the output to be computed by our background remover. So we have another server error. Oh, I spelled it wrong. That's brilliant. All right, let's run it again. And now hopefully it'll send the file now. Yes. All right, cool. So it works. I think that's it for the back end. So now I'll, I'll try code the front end and see what happens. So as you can see here, we have, we are actually console logging a response, uh, but I don't know how to actually access the image, but it's good to know that the connection's been made at least. So we 
see here the output has been created. Yes! So as we can see here, it works and we're able to save this image if we need to. Yeah, I'm getting super excited, but okay, yeah. Uh, okay, so now we kind of have our basic thing. So now we need to implement the uh, function to upload the file because right now it's just this guy's image and yeah so we need to be able to upload our custom file and create a post request okay so a little update uh it's not working for some reason <laughs> okay so let me just tell you where i'm at right now so basically i've modified it so that we basically save the image as upload.png and then use that as part of the background remover process and then on our front end site here we basically have a script that and a form where once we submit the form then we basically fetch from that server create a new image url and set the image source to be that url uh but for some reason it's not working and i'm not too sure why it's an internal server so it's, oh wait i think it's actually working so you can see now that the we have this thing so it's actually kind of working so now we're sending the right data but now we're not processing it correctly because it's not being saved okay cool, cool 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 hopefully now it should save it it saves it okay nice it actually saved it so now it should be processing it and it'll send it back here come on it did it okay it actually did it wait wait, wait. this is actually really exciting and now it's showed yes it showed uh it's not perfect as you can see but it's a good it's a decent job i'd say all that's left now is to make things look nicer. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, then please leave a like. It's fairly simple to do and it really helps the channel out. So if you like these kind of software engineering projects, then please do leave a like. Thank you. This is the final product. I know it doesn't really look that great. Definitely not my proudest work, but essentially you can just choose your file, select any image, click upload. Then after waiting for a while, the image should pop up. So then once the image pops up, you can actually click on it to straight away get it to download. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to be back posting. And also I'm currently doing some preparation for interview season. So if you want to check out that in the live streams, then feel free to join in on Sundays, uh, 7 p.m. GMT time. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. I don't know when that would be, but see you guys. Bye.